What's up, it's your girl Khadija, aka the Amazing Nomad, and I'm back again with another Love Island review. Like always, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get started. So let's give a few shout outs to some of y'all. Give me one second. The Brooklyn Days, at Kathy Mallory4265, at Ebony Craig, at Pseudo Chic, at Annette Loving Light4447, at Bad Gal. Ting in it. <laughs> Shout out to you, Patricia Millings, etc., etc., etc. At Lawrence Carbello, three five two eight. At I am Indie Baby. At Louisa Agostine, nine eight three nine. Hey girl, hey, it's been a long time. I haven't seen you in the chats. Oh, you've been with me for a long time, so I hope you're doing well. And uh, I think that's it. Yeah, so that's it for the shout outs for today. Ah, la la. Y'all, yes, I, maybe y'all saw my community post when I um, posted the first look. And we found out that Leo cheated on Cassie. Y'all, I'm so just, firstly, Leo is actually my favorite guy in the house. I like his personality. I've said from day one, he's a hoe. Go back to my first reviews. I was like, mm, the Dominican hoe. Mm, okay, I'm set. I was like, mm. but personality wise, I like him. He seems like a nice guy, but he, yeah, he's a hoe. And I'm really disappointed in him. I really am disappointed in him because I'm just like, why? You could have explored this person, maybe a kiss, sure. Then you and Cassie would be neck and neck, but like, Y'all fucked. And then y'all are trying to be coy like you didn't fuck. Like, they, they're all sharing the same bedroom. You think my ass is not going to hear somebody um, moving around and making sounds while they're while I'm trying to sleep? Like, they all knew. They just wanted you to say it. I was just like, nah. I'm disgusted with them just because I'm just like, it's really disrespectful. It's completely disrespectful. And as far as the new girl, whatever her name is, uh, what's her name? Johnny. Like, for me, it's the same thing. And this is for the Johnny. This is for, um, what's his face? Leo. This is for KK. Again, that's your choice. If y'all want to have sex on TV, fine. By all means, do what you want to do. It's your choice. It's your life, right? But for me, again, everywhere you go in this house, you're, tell you're being recorded. Somebody is going to have to edit these videos so they're they have a tape of you they have footage of you fucking somebody granted they're not gonna like sell it to anybody but they have footage of you and for me i just me personally i could not live with that no 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 no. okay even with my partner if ever i was to record anything it's gonna be on my phone and i don't care i trust you i don't trust you that much no it's always gonna be me in control of that because Nobody's ever going to use that against me. Me personally, I just don't want the ums, the ahs, the nothing. None of this is going to be shared nowhere else. Anybody's going to have access to it, nothing. So I'm just like, if y'all are comfortable like that, by all means, do you. I'm sorry if I'm being judge judgy. But I'm just like, why would you want to do that? Ugh. And again, this is for all three of them, okay? But hey, more power to you. Enjoy, you know, being sex pop. Is it? Like, I'm not trying to like sex shame anyone or anything i'm just like you on tv they're not showing it like it's a porn i get it but i'm just like okay but i am really dis i'm disappointed in him and i'm really disgusted with him because i'm like you had loyalties to cassie and even if she were to bring matea back whatever she still even though they did kiss okay at least she's still been respectful enough i mean it, it, and I'm not saying kissing is an excuse, and I'm not saying that they're like a couple or whatever, but it's too much. Like, y'all know that shit is too much. Anyways, I have to come finish this review because I have to clean my house. I have a trip coming up soon, and I gotta make sure this is spig and span because we cannot leave. Before. Like, I don't know about y'all, but me personally, I can't leave my house a mess if, like, I'm going somewhere. I just... Mm -mm. It's just instilled in me that the place got to be clean. So you leave clean, you come back clean, okay? But I've been procrastinating and doing of cleaning my house for like a week. Like I start, stop, and I'll sit down, go on my phone, watch TV. You know, y'all ain't here for this. I'm sorry. 
Anyways, so for me personally, I'm like, what is the point of the hideaway in Castor Amor? The hideaway is a privilege that they have when they're in the villa where they can give it to someone who they think is deserving. So I don't understand the point of the hideaway at Castor Moore. Like if they're going to win something, I guess, yeah, they did win a treat. It's not just a party, but I don't know. I, I was like, it, it didn't seem fair to me. I don't know. I just, I wasn't a fan of having the Castor away. I mean the Castor away. I wasn't a fan of having the hideaway for Castor Moore or the villa. You know what I'm trying to say? It's just odd. And the villa picks Bergy and Taylor. And the Casta house, they pick Zay and Destiny. So with Bergy and Taylor, they go to the room. He's excited, but I'm confused. Because remember episode one, Mother was talking about like he wasn't comfortable sleeping in a bed with a girl. He wasn't trying to really kiss anybody. And it was really weird. First episode, right? But then same first episode or the next episode, he's laying in bed excited. But I'm like, wasn't he talking about how like his beliefs is, you know, he wants to get married. He wants to do things in a certain step. But I'm like, Bergy, some, some of the things that you say are not lining up because you made it seem as if you're the type where... You're looking for that traditional relationship where you start off getting to know each other, you get married, and then you fuck. That's kind of how he portrayed himself. And now it's like, oh, I'm open kind of thing. So I think that's kind of odd. But both of them say that they're physically attracted to each other. I was just like, I, honestly, to tell you the truth, I was uncomfortable. I was uncomfortable watching this. I was just like... Mm. I don't know about y'all, but I was, I, was, I was kind of grossed out. I don't know. I, like... I was just uncomfortable with this scene personally, but maybe that's just me. I just was like, mm. moving on to Zay and Destiny. <laughs> I will say, I guess um, Imani and Destiny have like made up because Imani was like being nice and helping her trying to get like, an outfit. So I thought that was cool. And uh, Destiny's my, hey, there's, Destiny needs to chill out. Okay, like she's done some things before. I'm just like, girl, like you're doing too much. But then at the same time, I have to respect her. And I respect the fact that she's like, yo, I'm not hideaway or not. I'm not giving anything. I'm not doing anything. Like if I'm not comfortable. And again, I guess if other people are comfortable in doing that, they can. That's your choice. You know what I mean? But she's just not going to bend for, you know, things like that. And I respect that personally. So I was like, she's like, girl, I'm tired. Okay. And she fell asleep. <laughs> I was like, get a girl. Anyways, and we see in bed in the villa that Keenan and Naja, Naja um, were getting frisky. I think she was on top of him at one point. We see Leo saying he misses Cassie and he talks about her bracelet. But then when the lights go out, he and um, Johnny fuck. And before they even fuck, Lee, uh, Jonah saw them, you know, doing something. But that was before the lights went out. I was like, mm. And then KK and the game players, i.e. Hannah, Carmen, Kenzo, Marco, all slept outside. And then the rest all slept in the, inside the, the villas. So in the morning, I don't know if, if it's me, but generally speaking, when there is um, the hideaway, they come back, they talk about it. Like I definitely saw it for Zane or well, Destiny mostly. But I didn't see like the aftermath of Cassie or Bergy and Taylor, Black Taylor, their Castor more experience. I didn't see that. I don't know if I missed it, but I don't remember them like coming and discussing what happened, etc. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. But anyways, um, the boys just say Bergy's grown so much and I guess kind of they're proud of him, I guess, whatever. And Kenzo says he's sticking with Carmen. Okay, good for you. Apparently, y'all know each other and went to the same gym, according to Brooklyn Days. I don't know. Y'all, I, I watch it. I re do review it. I don't go looking for information. I don't know. I just Based on what y'all say, I say that. Allegedly, I don't know for sure. But mm, he gonna stick with Carmen. Yeah. I'm sure. Maybe. Okay, let's say they didn't know each other, know each other. But if y'all went to the same gym, you probably have seen each other a few times. Or you're like, mm-mm you know so maybe like they signed up for love island they were at the same um casting call or something and then they're like okay if you get paid let's win this maybe that's what happened i don't know but i don't want them to win so if we get a chance to vote them off i want them voted off personally that's why i want to vote it off 
And I will say, I know a lot of y'all were saying that um, in the previous episode, how Hannah and Cass and Carmen were talking about Cassie was kind of fucked up. Like I said, I do feel like Hannah was doing it. It was dis um, displaced and she was doing it to fight for Anna, in my opinion. And it was harsh, like, you know, what they were saying. And I feel like of anyone, Carmen is the one that has more loyalty to, um, to Cassie since that's her friend. But Carmen don't have a problem with throwing nobody under the bus. So that don't surprise me personally. But anyways. Uh, um, and then Keenan starts talking. And honestly, he was speaking in circles to me in this scene. This is before he went to the, to the um, confessionals. I didn't understand what he was trying to say. I really didn't. He's like, yeah, I did say like I was ready to close off. But then she came in and then this. And I don't know. And yes. And I was at home. And then in the confessionals, he says that basically he would if he had to pick he'd pick kk but it wasn't really gave him more time than she'd pick it girl what i don't have time for him okay and leo he ain't got nothing to say because he's tired he's sleepy he's uh -huh. like the boys know what you did y'all were in the same damn room like please maybe production was telling him to not say anything until he says something but i'm like we know what you did please don't do that okay and then we see johnny johnny tells white taylor that her and Leo fucked. And that he has B, um, big dick energy. Good for you. Leo tells Marco in the kitchen. Okay. He said it. This is just between me and you. Okay. Yeah, he fucked. And Marco says, I'm happy for you. And then they're chatting. He's just like, yeah, I'm confused. This is it. And then Marco's like, well, I mean, you're going to bring her back, right? Which is a very valid question because you, you done fucked her. You better bring her back because there is no going back to Cassie kind of thing, right? And Leo says, I don't know. Huh? Excuse me. Moving on. Back to Cassie and Warm. So we see Destiny coming back from the hideaway. Her and Zay were walking out and I think he says, thank you for a good night or something like that. And she's like, don't say it like that. I mean, well, I don't, I, maybe they're just joking. I don't know. I don't know what you want them to say. But... Destiny tells the girls that basically she fell on him. She fell asleep on his ass and yeah, she just laughed it off. And then they're all happy for her. Um, I think Hannah was saying just the happiest she's seen her. And if this is the case, I'm happy for her and I wish her the best. I still don't think there's a connection, honestly, with her and Zay. Maybe I'm wrong. I just, I don't see, especially from his end, I don't see it. And I just, I don't see it. I don't see a spark. I don't see it personally, but that's just me. And Amani and Cassie both say that they really like their partners. They like Kyle. Well, Amani likes Kyle. And Cassie likes uh, Matea. And, you know, they'll see if they're going to bring him or not to the villa. Likely, Amani's bringing Kyle. Smart. Um, Cassie, Cassie, bring back Matea, okay? Because, girl, just bring him back, okay? So, Marco... Mister, I can't keep my mouth shut. I'm sorry, okay? Grant, I understand this is a villa and word is going to spread. However, if Leo told you this in confidence, then you owe him that. Like for me, you tell me something you're saying it's for me to know. I'm going to keep it because like you, if you're trusting me, I'm going to keep that right. Granted, Leo ended up telling everybody anyway, but I didn't like that. But, you know, he did that because like, OK, it would have been different if he told like Hannah. OK, and then told Hannah not to say nothing because that's his girl. You know, like, I'm not saying, like, for example, I'll use this example, right? Like, my partner will tell me things that his friends and people have done. I'm not going to share nobody else, but we're going to talk about it because we're going to talk about it, right? But, I don't know. I just, I didn't like that he did that, personally. Even though if he trusts um, Kenzo or not, like, I just don't think he should have done that. But that's just me. And I will say when Marco was going on... Um, and he was just like, I'm confused because you're saying this, you're doing that. I agree with everything he said in the professionals. And yes, even though, like, you know, I agree with some of the things that he's done, don't mean I still want him to win. Mm -mm, okay. Personally, I would, I, I like me some Hannah. Okay. I want Hannah or somebody else personally. Cause I feel like Marco is just trying to play this, like, I, I, I feel like after the Destiny thing and then now the way he's moving with Hannah. I don't know if it's just because he, he likes her like he's saying he does or he he's just playing a game. I can't t sense like if he's being authentic or genuine personally, but I would prefer somebody else with Hannah. But it is what it is. If they end up winning, they end up winning. Like, I can't control it. Then we see KK 
and Carmen chatting. And um, she, Carmen says she wants to move in. Is it weird that I want to move in with Marco? I was like, yes. I was like, girl, shut up. Move in how? I, I mean, if she really likes him, I'm surprised because I'm like, you could do so much better. But okay, girl. Um, and then KK asks, do you think Keenan's going to bring somebody back? Carmen's like, I don't know. And then they start talking about Keenan. KK was saying that he's selfish with his emotions, and he is. And Carmen was saying that, girl, don't compare yourself to any anybody if you were to bring somebody back. And she says a quote that her dad says all the time. He says, she can't hold your panties. Like, she don't compare to you. She ain't your speck, okay? Y'all are not the same level. And I, I like Hannah. I really do. Like I said it yesterday, I think she... she for the time being, she's my favorite girl in the house, personally. And then we have Keenan and Naja chatting. So basically, they're all cuddled up. And he wants to see how big and or small her hands are. She, you know, she does that thing. And then he's like, yeah, I'm still not sure. And then he explains that he's still unsure about what he's going to do with regards to the aftermath of Castor Moore, if he's going to pick her or pick KK. And then she's like, well, I mean, it's a, it's up to you. So I guess he's trying to make um, create some distance now. So she asks, well, do you want me to move away? So she moves away from him. So they're not cuddling anymore, but they're still sat next to each other. And I'm pretty sure they were still like holding hands or there was a part where she, her hand was on him in some kind of way. So I'm like, okay. And he tells her, I'm not a selfish person. And now he's now he's considering KK's feelings. But weren't you saying yesterday, like I'm gonna do me, I don't care about anything. This is I'm just gonna live in the moment and I hope KK's doing the same. But now you're caring about her feelings. Are you playing the game? Are you not realizing it's better for you to stick with her? Cause it don't make no damn sense to me personally. And yeah, I don't know. I think it's just weird. And funnily, when he was saying the like, you know, I'm a man, like if you keep trying to like, you know, Cause she was just basically saying like stand in it like pick make your choice and stand in it she's like i'm standing in my thing because yes i am like i'm showing you that i want you right and he says in the profession like she showed me physically verbally what you mean by she's showing you physically because i do believe that y'all were doing the first night y'all were doing something in that bed because things were moving around i was like mm. and we i saw her going on top of you yesterday night so y'all definitely been doing some things but leo was just a fucking i mean not leo Keenan's a hoe. Keenan just wants to fuck. And any any girl that gives him attention, any girl, he will be like, oh, hey, oh, hey. I, I'm, I'm tired of him. I really am. But it is what it is. Moving on. We see Cassie and Matea chatting. And she asks, basically, if I bring you back, will you be loyal to me? Of course, he's going to tell you yes. He's trying to get into fucking villa. Yes, he's going to tell you yes, girl. Um, he says a little crock to me. I don't believe what he says. So whatever. And Cassie says she's confused because it's like she feels like she's in love with Leo. But she likes Matea and she's not sure, you know, which would be the better option for her. Bring him back, girl. Bring him back. And now we see Leo chatting with White Taylor. So they're chatting. I mean, he knows apparently, obviously that Johnny is told Taylor. But he's like, I wish I never met her. I wish Johnny never came here. And and then this is the part. I don't know if he said this to her or if this was in the confessionals. But he said Cassie still has, I think he said it to her. He said Cassie still has the upper hand right now. I'm like, bitch, what? And this is where I'm like, I don't understand men. Granted, again, they're not in a couple. They're in a couple in the house, but they're, they're not like official, right? I don't understand how you cheat on somebody, cheat on someone, and then talking about you're you this you still got the upper hand like I still like her more like I don't I don't the way men think when it comes to cheating I just I don't think my mind will ever get wrapped around it because I don't understand that cheating is not a mistake it's a fucking choice every minute of you touching this person you're in bed the same bed that you and Cassie share with this girl right you touched her. You're making this choice. You kissing her, you're making this choice. Every bit of action that you're making as you're laying in bed with this girl and doing fondling and doing the things that you're doing, these are choices. So you're actively actively choosing to cheat over and over and over and over and over again. And then you're gonna say, I still, you know, Cassie still has upper hand, you know, our connections. What? 
I, I just, for me, the way men think when it comes to cheating, I don't understand. I don't get it personally. And I don't think I'm ever meant to get it because it will never make sense to me. But anyways, moving on. Leo then tells the boys in the kitchen, basically, he's like, well, y'all probably gonna find out soon enough. But yeah, I fucked um, Taylor. And then we see Jonah and White Taylor chatting. Honestly, they're, they're so bland to me. I don't even make notes. I just know they talked about like his step mom. No, his mom, his dad's girlfriend has a son that he basically is like his son, which is nice that you're close to him like that. Whatever. She's an early bird and that's wonderful. Moving on, we see Rob and Carmen chatting. Apparently they have a good connection. She likes him, but I guess she's not trying to feed into it. For me, I'm just like, even if she liked him and she, if she's already made a pat with Kenzo, she ain't gonna break that, okay? She's just gonna entertain you a little bit and then keep it moving. But she says she's torn. And he's like, yo, I know you like me, but you just gotta, you know, give me a little bit more. And then it, later in the confessional, I kind of felt bad for him. He's like, uh, yeah, it feels like she's not, she doesn't want me because she's just not really trying to give me, you know, more of her. And I was like, oh, sorry, Rob. Moving on, we have Keenan, Kenzo, and Marco chatting in the bed. And then later they end up sewing Bergie, but Bergie wasn't there at the time. But anyway, so Keenan says, man, Leo's doing too much. Who are you to judge? Grant said, I'll give you this. Granted, you and what you recall didn't fuck. Okay, but y'all have touched or she's touched you. I'm sure you may have done something as well. Okay, so I'm like, he, I agree with you. Leo's done, it's, he's doing too much. But I was just like, who are you to be judging? Shut up. And then Marco talks about how Leo has taken off the bracelet that Cassie left him. And he's just like, I would never take off the, the, um, the necklace that Cassie that Carmen left me, blah, blah, blah. Moving on. Then we see Leo and Johnny chat. Ch Ch <laughs> and then we see Leo and Johnny chat. And basically he says that it didn't feel wrong. And um, apparently his head is scrambled. Good for you, but I really don't care. So Cassie and Carmen chat. And Cassie feels like she's cheating on Leo in this situation. And Carmen's says basically i like a man that's all about me just like how you played and used bergie anyways i don't got time for her but basically for cassie i think she says she's kind of 50 50 when it comes to the situation with that she's in with regards to leo and matea bring back matea girl okay and then um then now we see bergie with keenan kenzo and marco and basically, he says he's giving Black Taylor space. I didn't understand what happened here because I was just like, did something happen? I, I, I was, because they didn't show their after, the aftermath of their caster. They didn't show the aftermath of their um, hideaway. And then now he's saying, I'm giving her space. Are you giving her space because you're not trying to put, be too full on or because you're not feeling it? Like, I'm confused because in the morning we see, like, when they woke up in the hideaway that they kissed. I don't understand. I, mean, I'm, I might have just skipped over this part and I wasn't paying attention. So if y'all understood what happened here, please let me know below because I'm, I'm confused by that. And then Marco says that if um, Hannah brings somebody back, she'll cry. I mean, he'll cry. I was like, okay. Keaton says, I don't know about KK, but I'll be pissed and I'll tell her about herself if she brings someone. I'm not even going to respond to that because I'm, I'm I'm sick of his ass. I really am. Moving on. And now we have... <laughs> we have the video message. KK, soul ties is crazy. That's her... That She needs to fucking put that on a shirt, okay? And sell that goddamn thing. Soul ties is crazy because that's her goddamn phrase. But y'all... <laughs> like we saw the video i'm like dead ass it wasn't even that bad it could have been worse it could have been worse they could have shown you the let me touch it clip okay i know that they're trying to have a level of suspense and that's why they're not like showing like who's talking to who who's talking about who like, i get it but i'm like 
y'all showed Keenan what you call in bed. Y'all could have shown Carmen, I mean Carmen, Leo and what you call in bed. Y'all could have shown more of the, the people doing the deeds, you know. So I, I feel like they needed to ha make it clear with regards to Carmen's situation and they did it. And I think that's really disappointing personally. But I mean, not Carmen, um, Cassie. Anyway, Soul Ties is crazy. I'm like, it wasn't even that bad. It really wasn't. KK walks away and homegirl breaks down like somebody in her family died. This girl crumbled to the ground and was crying. And I'm not trying to be insensitive at all, but I was just like, girl, you saw them fondling in bed perhaps, okay? But the clip left you to imagine, but like there was worse. And I'm just like, the way she broke down, I was like, girl, it wasn't even that bad. It really wasn't that bad. I was like, girl, chill the fuck out. Like you're doing too much. You're doing too much. And this is the thing I was saying in the beginning. I'm like, KK, if you're the type you can have casual sex and not have your feelings involved, by all means, fuck them if you want to. However, if you're t you're the type where your sex and your feelings go hand in hand, girl, don't do it. And clearly you're definitely the sex and feelings make you have a stronger bond with the person that you fucked. That's what it's giving, right? So... I understand why she's a hurt by this because in the confessional she said that like I've given this man everything I had sex and I've given him my body like, like I get it I get it and dead ass like at the end when she was crying I teared up I did but I'm like girl the the, the breakdown was too much for me personally so then firstly I'm like why were they even playing the video without Hannah present and Hannah should have been there okay so as soon as KK walks away, I think she goes to go find Hannah. The, I think it was Carmen and Cassie, like go after um, KK to comfort her. And I was just, I noticed that I think it was Destiny, was Amani and Amani and maybe, I don't know who else, they just kind of stayed there. And I'm like, damn, you know, I'm about to go comfort like homegirl, what the fuck? I'll get into that a little bit later. Anyways, so they, K KK is fucking breaking down crying. Okay, Cassie goes, gets Hannah. Hannah's like, you, I mean, she's like, you need to come. So as KK's crying, I don't know if she's still on the floor or she's gone somewhere else. I don't know. But um, they're like, yo, Hannah's like, y'all are scaring me. Like, y'all are scaring me, right? I don't know where KK is right now. I don't know if she's still on the floor. But anyways, I think she gives KK a hug. Hannah goes to go watch the video, okay? And then Hannah's like, I'm not worried about her. And then she's like, where's KK? Hannah's my, Hannah is my girl. Hannah is my girl, okay? That's all you need to know, she my girl, okay? I fucked with Hannah. So Hannah goes to KK and she's like, yo, there is nothing. Like this is, this has nothing to do with you. This is not about you, this is about him, okay? And then she says, you can't, he can't have you. You're too good for him. I was like, yes, okay? This is a big sister that you need here, KK, okay? And I'm so glad you, she is there to support you and have your back like that. And when it, she asked about, I think Kika asked about, well, like, who fucked who? And she's like, nah, it wasn't, um, uh, it wasn't, uh, what's his face? Marco's ex, because I saw the hair color. And she's like, I'm going to stand by my word, okay? And if he decides to fuck it up, then that's on him. But fuck him. And I was, okay? And then, okay. <sighs> And then Carmen tells her, take your pick, okay? Now you know. Girl, Hannah did that. Fuck that. Ah! Yes, I was so here for her. And then Cassie goes back to the to the video thing and she's like, who fucked the brunette? It looks like it's Leo's type. Girl, you right. Follow your motherfucking instincts. But I think, um, I don't know if it was Carmen or somebody like kind of told her not. Nah, I don't think it was. And then she didn't end up going with that. But yes, girl, that's who it was. But I was like, again, I was like, why didn't Destiny go cover KK, right? I was like, but hey, maybe, let me not put this on her. Some people, when somebody's going through, like, when someone's crying, you don't know how to react. Like, I'm going to even say, like, me. Like, if you, like, break down in front of me, I'm like, like, I want to give you a hug. But at the same time, I don't know. Like, you know, so maybe it's something like that. So I can't judge her too hard. But it's just because I, I thought... I feel like they have a really close bond that she would do that. But let me say this. Later on in the room, when KK was like down, she came and gave her a hug. So my bad. But yeah, she definitely did do that. So I was like, okay, thank you. Because all the girls did end up comforting her. And then this is the part where KK's in the confessional. And she's saying, I feel dumb. 
I gave him everything and it was still not enough. And then she's like putting this on herself as in no one ever wants to know her. And I, 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 I felt bad for her. Like that's when she started crying. I, I, I mean, I, the tear didn't drop, but I was crying for her because I was just like, oh, like I wanted to give her a hug. I really did. And I felt bad. And I'm just like, hey, Kate, moving forward, be selfish, make decisions for yourself. Do not let someone have so much power over your emotions. And again, this is something you'll learn with time. But I, I, I felt bad for her. I really did. I didn't want to see her like in that um, state. And she's just gone. She's put up with too much and she's gone through too much with the situation. And I want her to just hold her head up high. Pick Brandon if that's who you want. Bring him to the villa and chill and you will sail to the goddamn finals. Okay, because we're going to make you win. Okay, and then Hannah can come in second place because if she's gonna stay by Marco's side, she can she can come in second place and we can kick Carmen and Kenzo out. Okay, and hopefully Destiny. Wait, well, I don't know because Destiny. With this, okay, my my the people I want to win. Let me just say this right. KK, Destiny, and Hannah, and honestly, I think I'm a little bit more partial to Hannah because I like the way she's like she sticks up. For the people that she stands up for. Even though I feel like with the Anna situation. I'm like girl. Okay you don't have to hate on Cassie like that. Because Anna did the same thing to fucking Cassie. So please okay. But those honestly are my three. They're my top three right now. So I hope that they will all make it to the finals. I really do. I really really do. I really do. I'm crossing everything. Everything okay. But I feel bad for KK. But I'm at the same time it's like KK. In the words of Maya Angelou, when someone shows you who they are, believe them the first time. The first time. Okay? He's shown you multiple times. His head swivels here, there, everywhere. You need to just focus on you. Like, hey, it is what it is. You had sex. It's something you wanted to do. You made a choice. Unfortunately, you doing that didn't solidify a relationship. For him, it wasn't that. For him, he can have casual sex. And maybe there is something in him where he does care about you. I'm not saying that he has no feelings for her. But he definitely, in my opinion, uses KK as a placeholder. And I feel like he's just always putting her there. Putting her on the shelf. So whenever he wants to go and do whatever he wants to do, he knows that she's going to be there. And I don't want that for her. And she doesn't deserve that, honestly. Because honestly, KK is stunning. Beautiful, okay? You have so many things going for you. Do not settle for someone that's not giving you all. I, you need someone that's gonna give you their all if that's what you're doing, okay? It needs to be reciprocal. And I wish that for her. And I hope that this experience will just help her learn to just move forward, pick the right person, and grow from the situation. Because hey, we made a choice. You can't we're, we can't like take it back. It is what it is. You just have to keep moving forward with regards to that. And with Destiny and Zay, like, they're saying that this is a good connection. I hope that it is for her sake. I don't think he's really into her. I don't feel it. I really don't. If she likes him and she senses that this is a good situation, then, hey, I'll support you, girl. But I don't feel it, personally. And for Hannah and Marco, Marco is just going to play the good guy for the time being, okay? He's just going to play the, you yep, the... When he was talking about, yeah, I'm falling in love. Like, the little shit. I, I think he's playing a game, honestly. Like, I'm whatever. Oh, la, la. But anyways, those are my thoughts for today's episode. Let me know your thoughts below. Like always, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And you're probably back soon for a new video. Peace out. Bisous. And hugs. Ooh, 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 ooh.